Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's practice C plus plus. Hope you guys are doing great. So from today's video, we are going to start a series that will contain all the practices uh, that are defined in C plus plus using the conditional structure and using the other C plus plus programs. So let's get started. And before starting the video, uh, you must subscribe my YouTube channel and please press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Uh, so the first thing you need a compiler in my case i'm going to use dev developer c plus plus and this is the compiler i'm going to use dev c plus plus and i'm going to open my compiler dev c plus plus and now i'm going to create a source file source file source file will include all the header files hash include input output stream hash include conio.h conio.h using namespace namespace standardized integer of the main integer of the main and getting the characters so we have done with this one and get ch okay so now in today's video i'm going to create a program using c which will take a number from the user and it will define whether the number entered by the user is odd or even so all the numbers that are divisible divisible by two uh, that are referred as the even numbers and that are not divisible by two those numbers are referred as odd numbers so we we have already known the scenario of the program now it's easy for us to develop and create a program so the first thing we just need to create a variable with a data type integer in integer uh, we can write any kind of number so i'm going to create a variable and i will name as number so initially i will not declare but if you want to get bypass from the uh, concept of garbage value so you can assign the zero to the number so in my case i'm going to assign the zero and i, I have now initialized and declared the variable in number and now I'm going to print a statement that C out, please enter a number. Please enter a number. Please enter a positive number. You can also list this one. Because we just want to create a program that is reliable, that is efficient, that is encrypted well. So we just need to test across on every point of view that our program is uh, is to access for the user so after initializing the statement that please enter a positive number uh, we just need to take that number and for that purpose we just need to use console input and number so the program is taking a number and the number is inserting right now inside the variable number now we have taken the number from the user and now we are going to implement the if number entered by the user is when we have, when we take the mod of that number if the mod is equal to zero so we can derive that console output console output this is an even number or you can also alternately add that the number you have add is even so if the number model is zero model is two and it returns to zero then it will surely an even number but if the things will not happen then we can move and we can proceed further towards the next thing that if the number entered by the user is less than zero it means if the number is negative then we need to console output please enter a positive number because in our program scenario we have defined that we have to implement all the stuff on a positive number so if the number is less than zero then it will be derived as the number please enter a positive number and last but not the least if the number entered by the user and it return it doesn't returns the modulus by two uh, zero so 
it means that it will see out this is an odd number odd number so now we are going to implement a thing and I'm just going to enter the number okay it's showing us an error that we have f11 and 88 this is an even number and 77 this is an odd number and what if I enter the minus minus 9 so please enter a positive number so that's all from today's video and if you like the video then do subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you